You know, investment casting, believe it or not, has been around over 5,000 years. And it revolutionized many, many countries. Uh, for the flintlock guns, if the part broke, you were done. And what changed the war was investment casting. Because now they could make parts, the same cookie cutter parts over and over, and they became interchangeable. One of the benefits of investment casting is to cast a shape that cannot be machined, possibly uh, undercut or a small hole or a curved passage through a casting. A, a lot of engineers, when they're designing a part, they don't realize the savings that they could achieve through investment casting. We can reach a near net shape quicker than they could machine it. Investment castings allow you to cast in dimensions that are not obtainable in other processes. Where with investment casting you get near net shape, or many times you can get the shape where as soon as it's cast, you can use it as is. And you're so much farther ahead. If you're making your part through machining, you're wasting a lot of time, a lot of material. You can imagine if you have a, say a five pound uh, block of stainless steel, and you're machining that down to about a pound. You just lost four pounds on the floor. And today's cost is maybe lost $25, $30. It's a lot of money. And overall, that cost for, to make that part in investment casting that small, it would be pennies on the dollar compared to that. Where an investment casting could cast you apart near net shape. In fact, we could put 20 complex parts on one tree Get it cast before your machinist could set up on just part number two. The nice thing about investment casting, you have consistency. From one part to the next, it's cookie cutter. Many of our parts are used as is after casting without any machining. In the investment casting process, 10% is normal for scrap rates across the industry. But here at Shellman, if you order a thousand parts, we'll shoot to give you a thousand perfect parts. This is a wax pattern. It is the net shape of the final casting once it becomes a casting. Uh, another, another word for it is lost wax. If your wife or your spouse has a ring, chances are that's made out of uh, investment casting. Uh, it's made out of first out of wax. Uh, we inject wax into a tool, then we put them on, on a wax tree, and then we dip them in a material which creates the mold. And then we melt all that wax out and pour the uh, molten alloy in. It's a little bit tougher than that but most people get the gist by that. And investment casting has a, a tolerance of plus or minus five thousandths per inch, which is very impressive. Typically, the, the biggest fallacy with investment casting is cost. Uh, many people think tooling is very, very expensive. No, it's not. If, for example, if you compared it to a progressive stamping tool, it might be a couple hundred thousand dollars. A die casting might start at 50 to 100 thousand. Investment casting? Three or four thousand it might start. The castings that fit Shellmet the best would fit in your hand. The more efficiently we can make a part, we can pass the cost savings on to you. So we'll get calls from, uh, say, an engineer, and they'll, they'll, many times they think they know what they want, but once they talk to us, they might change an alloy, or once we work with them, we might give them a suggestion to say, hey, you know, if you just change this or you put a radii here, it's going to cost you less to make the part. And usually they, they grab onto it. It saves them a lot of money. It saves them a lot of time, too. What we've always said here is that we need to be an aspirin, not a headache.